Hi there. In this video, we're going to learn how we can remove elements from an array that have already been created. Let's take a look at what we have here. And I want to show you also how we can actually output that array to the trace statement. If you notice, before we had the, uh, we had the open bracket, close bracket, we were using the element number. I actually have taken that out in this example. This is just to show you that you can also take the entire array itself, in this case it's a bunch of strings, and I can output those to the trace statement. So let me just show you how, what this is going to look like. So on the output panel you see it says Doug, Mike, Janet, and Sarah separated by commas, which should be uh, pretty self-explanatory. I wanted to use this because we're going to actually take an element out of the array this time. So I wanted to show you, uh, show you the differences of when we do this before and after. To take an element out, we use a statement called the splice statement. So let me uncomment these lines and we can see how this works. Last time we used push. Push actually put an item at the end of the array sequence. In this case, splice is going to ask which item in our list here do we want to remove and how many items from that point on do we want to remove. So let's actually bring up the code hint for this. And you can see that the first item is called start index. This is asking what is the element number of the item that we want to remove. The next one is actually asking what, how many items do I want to delete from that particular point. So in this case, we're accessing element 0, which in this case is me, Doug. We want to remove one element, which is going to just remove the name Doug. And we define that in this, the second item here. You notice these are all separated by commas. So let's actually run this and see what happens. You'll see the first one says Doug, Mike, Janet, and Sarah. That's the original array that we created in the first uh, on line three. The second one is after we've taken the item Doug out of that array using the splice statement. So that's why it now starts with Mike as opposed to Janet and Sarah. One interesting thing to note though is that when I do this, the, el the actual element numbers that I use to refer to these shift. So if I actually go in here and I say trace my array 0, element ID 0 is not, is not Doug anymore because Doug doesn't exist. So now that ID is now mapped to Mike. So now element 0 is going to be outputting Mike when I access that. So keep that in mind when you remove elements from your array to update your IDs. As I mentioned before, we could also remove more than one item using the splice statement. And we could just have to modify one little thing here. Let's actually take out Doug and Mike. So let's go into our splice statement here on line 7. And let's change this 1 to 2. We're going to start at Doug, remove not just Doug, but also Mike, or two items. We can run this again. And you notice that the ex example now outputs Janet and Sarah. So we're removing the first two items. Again, we can modify this a, a second time by changing the first element that we want to remove. So let's change this to 1. So we want to start now with Mike, not Doug, and go two elements. We're going to remove Mike and we're going to move Janet. So now we just have Doug and Sarah. Since we haven't removed Doug, who, which was originally element 0, when we use element 0 at the end, it's still Doug. So this is just some, uh, some more examples of how you can modify your arrays using the splice statement. Next, we're going to start learning how we can use the array to actually access objects dynamically on the stage.